Greetings and salutations. Welcome to Street Smart Swing. I'm super excited to be looking at some new footage today and I can't wait to be judgmental. Let's get right into it. I'm assuming this is a new event. I don't know if this is a new event or not. Grand Open Air 2020. Someone has done an event and there is a Jack and Jill competition. I'm assuming that's what Eminem is meaning in this case, unless it's something completely different. But Jack and Jill, you know me. I'm going to give you guys my unfiltered opinion on who I think is the winner of this competition. So let's go. All right. Let's get this party started. Not that many people clapping, so I, I hope it's uh, a few more people than uh, the contestants clapping. And transition, that was uh, couple number one. Yes. <laughs> right, all right. Good way to play it off. Hey, go with it. Coming on out. Oh, this is so refreshing to see a, a Jack and Jill, folks. This is good. It's been a while. Okay, so I don't know if this is a Strictly or not, because it seems as if they were doing some uh, choreography. But then again, you just never know. Some people have good eye contact. They can kind of wink at their partner. All right, all right, guys, this is a uh, pretty tight. I am really curious to know where this is at. I, I can't wait to learn a little bit more. <laughs> I love it. Whoever is filming this, they are really holding their hand steady because I thought this was on a tripod initially. 
until that last moment when they started moving. Yes. All right. Is that it? I, I think that might be it. My, oh, I'm seeing familiar faces. I'm seeing familiar faces. I don't know if that was round one, round two, or round three. Uh, but we're, I'm going to talk about that. I'm going to tell you who I, who I liked. Um, if that was the final, I'll tell you who I liked. If it's just kind of a preliminary thing, I'm going to tell you who I liked also. So let's get right into it. Okay, guys, let me give you my winner of this competition. I really, first, I want to preface by saying I love this particular level. This is one of the best levels to be able to watch people's true personalities in swing dancing. And I say that because when you get to a certain point in swing dancing, once you figure out things, you start to kind of polish it too much. And they tend to kind of lose something special about who they are as a dancer. And I feel that this, this particular couple is right on the, the little edge of beginning to go down that road. But what I liked about them is they, they have all the qualities that we would all deem as good dancing, but I could still see a little bit of their personality. And I hope they actually take more risk in the future. So for me, uh, the winner of this competition goes to the couple. Let's see, he had, what I like best is uh, their energy, folks. They had energy, it looked alive. Let me tell you who they are. You're like, who is it, Jamin? Just tell me the folks. Yeah, at the very beginning, the very first couple, she had blue on, he had burgundy on with yellow shirt. I loved them. What I liked about it, uh, first, I liked the fact that I could see their personalities. What that tells me is that they're unafraid. They're unafraid to simply just try something. And I, I really got the vibe when I was watching the leader, right? Because he's stopping at very specific points in the music. The followers still flowing within that and not phased really when there's a stop. And sometimes they got disconnected on the stops. But that's what made it fresh and not too formulaic. That, that's what I'm saying. Like, I like certain kinds of movies that have a formula. I think swing music has a formula, but when it is too formulaic, it's it's almost like a fake emotion. And I don't feel like these dancers had that fake emotion. And I didn't like necessarily everything that they were choosing to do, but I can respect them for having the three qualities that I like. They had control. Clearly most of the dancers in this competition could do the technique, which means can you lead swing dancing um, just by itself. That's control, right? That's the technique. Then they had timing. I really liked their timing. And, and for me, when I use the word timing, it really relates to how the dancers are moving with the loudest parts of the music. So if I know something's happening in the music and the dancers emphasize that as an audience member, it helps me appreciate the music more and it makes it more of a, a, a three-dimensional experience, more 4D because they're moving, I'm seeing them dance and I hear the music and it all goes together. I like that. Most of their timing was in sync of patience and fancy footwork, which is great. I really like that too. Um, and then the part that I wish they had more, which is generally the thing that lets me know definitely who the first place winner is. And that is creativity. That is just, that's having that one move or that one quality that you, you display when you're dancing with your partner where the audience definitely knows. There is no question about it. We all know who it is. And I think if they would have taken a little bit more risk, I noticed he went to the ground and did some things with his feet. You know, I can't do it the way he did it, but some he kind of went there a little bit playing around and she was doing stuff with her hair and moving her hands around. More of that. Try a little bit more of that. That makes it a little bit more obvious who the winner is. So there you have it, guys. Those are my favorite dancers in this particular competition. Let me know in the comment section if this was like a preliminary round or if this was the actual final because they crushed it. Also, if you haven't started swing dancing yet and you're watching a video like this on YouTube and you're wondering, man, I would love to do that. I really would. I just don't know how to do it. 
Well, you need to check out some of my free courses below. I got over 20 something courses you can check out just to get started in swing dancing where you are right now. All you need is a partner to get together and we break it down for you. We also include a lot of great uh, moves that I've made up personally. Some really cool stuff that you can actually lead and follow on the social dance floor. So it's really fun, so check that out. Let me know who you guys thought was the winner of this competition. You've heard my loud bloviating opinion. So let me know in the comment section who you thought was the winner of this competition. If I don't see your comments below, hopefully I get a chance to see some of you guys in my class. Take care.